Now, they're usually food stained and discarded at the end of a meal, but one hotelier from Kent has turned napkins into works of art. Yes, Jane Bishop at the uh, Walpole Bay Hotel in Margate has created a napkin art gallery. She's actually displaying 92 linen serviettes which her customers have drawn and painted on. Ian Palmer has more. The Walpole Bay Hotel in Margate, or should it be called a museum? Jane. Hello, Alex. How are you? Welcome back to my fiefdom. Thank you so much for allowing me here, Your <laughs> Highness. The hotel inspector visits hotel owner Jane Bishop to see if she's decluttered since her last visit. Well, I don't actually agree with your weeding out. You don't understand the principle from which I'm coming from. No. That's if she had understood the principle, this linen napkin, drawn after dinner by a guest, would not be displayed on the hotel wall. Well, after I'd slapped his wrist for drawing on my linen, he said, but this is my magical memory of staying in your magical hotel, Jane. And it just grew and grew and grew. And now, on the walls around Walpole, there are 92 framed and hung. And it's here they're displayed, giving guests a chance of a place on the hotel's artistic roll call of honour. I think it's excellent. And the other night, I looked around the whole hotel and um, the contributions are marvellous. You know, everything about the surroundings here that encourages people to um, give of their best. David Lisboa, an artist from Spain, has a fine hand. But will it be fine enough for Jane Bishop? Some drawings tell the story of the hotel itself. This is by Arnold Schwarzman. He's actually an Oscar-winning Hollywood film director too. But his father worked here as head waiter in 1947. How's that for a connection? And connections is what history is all about. Maybe it's the inspector who failed to understand the principle. Ian Palmer, BBC Southeast Today. Oh, good for Jane keeping the napkins. Yeah, I think they look pretty good.